yeah welcome again to the Candyman kitchen today yeah what am I gonna do today I'm just gonna whip up some spinach quickly you get me because that's what I love to eat greens be a green stuff I eat I don't eat meat and stuff like that it's only like fish I really eat so I'm just gonna do my spinach today show you how you could do it quickly takes no time more than quickly you could done up some spinach because I've got my season here that I'm gonna put on my spinach I've got some onion spring onion garlic and thyme and sweet pepper right here and a bit of hot pepper in it because I love my thing spicy all right this is my pot that I'm putting on the fire right here that I'm gonna put my this is my spinach over here I, I pre-cut it already yeah I, I just cut it up already that you could see it as you could see it right there I just cut it up nice and decent yeah and this is my green season now that I put in it I've got onion garlic sweet pepper thyme and a bit of spring onion in it as well and right so that's it that's what I'm gonna go in this part a lot of people do spinach and when they finish with it it's like beer water spring up in it the word of the nourishment that gonna be in that spinach for you it's just gonna cook out in it they don't know how to do it so let me show you how I deal with mine and it done perfect and nice every time I've done it yeah so that's my pot right there that I'm putting on the fire yeah it's gonna be of my spinach in it I just need a bit of oil to put in it too let the thing don't stick to the bottom of the pot yeah it just needs small amount of oil not this is the vegetable oil but I just use a small bit of it yeah just to keep my pot greasy you get me Alright, that's the spinach don't stick in it. Yeah. Turn the fire on now and let it the oil get hot. Then I put my season in. After my season, then make my season fry up a bit, yeah. Got everything under control right here, right now. Alright, and I'm gonna need a, a fork, any all right so that's it i'm just waiting my hair to be at that's where i could fry up my onion and season right yeah i just need my hair to be at on the fire i leave it there for a while that's it get hot up in the yeah burn the oil a bit and I chop my seasoning and get the thing start rolling man but this is how I do my thing because I don't eat meat I love my vegetable so it's beer greens for me every day greens day greens morning greens night that's me only a bit of fish I will eat sometimes but and today I'm gonna do like a Jamaican style potato pudding when I finish this spinach. That's gonna be the next thing going on the fire, ain't it? I'm gonna get everything cut up and ready and then I'll show you how I do it. You could cook with me. That's how it goes. I'll get a bit of that I put on the fire right there. Let me test it with a piece of garlic in it, yeah? Yeah. Right. Alright. Eye is okay, so we'll put my seasoning right now. Yep. This is my seasoning I'm throwing in right now. Yeah. Good. doesn't take long to cook one for season fried up then that's it you don't have to keep it on the fire too long to get out everything out of it 
all the iron that you're supposed to get in it. You don't have to cook it out. You just stir it in season and let this steam down. Yeah, you stir it around this season. Let they get cooked down a little bit. Because once the season cooked down, then it's finished. Doesn't take long to do with this. Just gonna steam down. Just gonna put a little powder season on it to give it the taste that it's supposed to have. Yeah, that's it for me. Yeah, when it's finished, it's lovely. Start up this and let it on steam. This is how you do it. A lot of people cook spinach and when they cook their spinach it's like it's like the pot full of water in it. You have to be bailing off water of the spinach. Because they don't know how to cook spinach. If you leave it on the fire for long, then water gonna just spring in it. Then the pot is gonna full of water, got a lot of water in the spinach. So as the heat touch it. Then the water start rise from out of it. A lot of people cook spinach. I can't eat that because it sick my stomach. Can it? I love my spinach dry and crunchy and nice. So I'm just gonna show you how to get it like that right now. I'm just gonna show you how I've done it. When you're cooking it the next time, if you do it like that, would make a lot of water in the pot. You could know how to get it without the water springing the pot. Yeah, you just make your season kind of bit cook down, right? Give it a little time on the fire to let it penetrate through the onion and the garlic and the sweet pepper and uh, thyme even when i do the season the season alone tastes nice man when i'm doing my thing the season alone that i do you, you could just eat this alone that i got up right here if you're a vegetarian or a vegan you could just eat this you don't have to eat nothing more with it because it tastes that it got already mm. Tastes lovely and so I like it crunchy and nice. That's it. Okay, you just let this thing here steam down, the season steam. Before you put in your spinach in it but when you put the spinach in that's it Just box it around a couple times and that's it your pot finished right there I think it's kind of dry in there I don't want it that be I need it to get a little mice in it I need a little more oil in it because yeah it's too dry in the pot season them each up in the bottom of the pot so I have to put a little hide to let it move around easily in it. yeah that's it right it's getting the car when once you do the honey on them like this chew it down it's sweet the only and alone tastes sweet when they cook down tastes sweet and nice with the season mixed with it and you don't want your honey and to cook out too much neither you like them to be crunchy and nice in it right i think it's reached where i want it to be right now so i'm just gonna get my spinach in i'm just gonna get my spinach in right now and finish it off now and show you how i've done it all right this is it i just take my time and put it over into the pot 
mix it in with the seasoning in it and that's it I'm just gonna have to use my hand because that fork won't help me that much so I'm just gonna have to use my hand and box it in quickly in the pot alright that's it that's it that's it it's all about it there is nothing more to it yeah you just clean every bit off that mean get everything in the pot right that's it clean this bit off the stove right here uh, put it over here all right this is the easy part of it now this is the tricky part of it if you make this stay on the fire too long then it's gonna spring a lot of water in you trust me you just want to get it mixed up in the season with honey and, and uh, sweet pepper and the garlic just want to get everything blending like once you get it blending and you know the pot is over the finish it's finished but that finish doesn't take long to cook it's soft so you don't need a lot of eye fire underneath it to cook it yeah you just want to box it around in the pot and let the steam do the work yeah steam alone will do the spinach you could turn off the fire now and the steam alone will carry it to perfection all you want it you don't have to keep the fire on it that long for it to cook it yeah because the spinach is easy to cook man like one two three easy 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 quick 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 good good finish your spinach if you hungry and want to do a quick sandwich or eat it with some rice on the side or some hard food or whatever you want to have it with it's just in five minutes it could ready see it's finished right now just a steam alone do it like that you don't have to put eye fire underneath it once you fire up your season then come out lovely like this and you don't get no water in it no water in the pot springing up so nice and lovely and crunchy that's all you want it to be taste yeah all right this is it this is perfect right now could start eat this right now off the fire as it is right now because it finished okay five minutes on the fire and it's finished yeah that's it that is my spinach Hey, it doesn't need hot fire lock off the fire and just the heat alone penetrate through it once the heat penetrate through the spinach that's it your spinach is finished right there and done let me taste it now and tell you what it tastes like mmm lovely crunchy and nice that's how you want it to be crunchy and nice you don't want it to be soppy soppy pot full of water coming up in the spinach no you don't need that you need it crunchy like this this is how you do it yeah that's how you do it yeah that's a spinach right there yeah that's how you do it you don't need it to full of water in it enough people do with spinach and the amount of water that come up in it you see this is cooked right now and no water in it it just steam and nice and ready to eat in it yeah that's how you do it thank you for watching my channel show you how to do some easy little pack if you're hungry yeah I'm gonna catch you later when I'm doing the sweet potato pudding yeah because I'm going to do a sweet potato pudding. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean up and cut up my stuff. Then that I'm going to use in the pudding. So that's it for right now. I'm out. Thank you for watching.